Hi, I'm Josh Flume. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be introducing a new series of videos in which we will cover how to build an industrial control panel from start to finish. We will cover every step of the process in a very detailed set of videos that will each focus on a different part of the build. By the end of the series, you will have a much better understanding of how a control panel works and everything that goes into the planning, design, and fabrication of one of these panels. Let's briefly talk about some of the things that we will cover and that you can look forward to. To start, we will begin with the planning phases of the build, which include determining what the purpose of the panel is and what hardware will be needed. We will then take that information and talk about how to properly design the panel to fit the needs that you might have. Once the design phase is completed, we will cover in great detail how to lay out the panel based off the drawings that you have created and make sure that everything is done with a high level of accuracy. We will then show you how to install the hardware for the panel and then begin the wiring phase of the build process. This wiring phase will include detailed video on how we wire the power distribution in the panel, all of the I.O., and also how to wire the PLC. We will discuss best practices throughout the build process so that you can gain a better understanding for how to build your own control panel. And lastly, we will show you several ways that you can ensure the panel has been assembled and wired correctly with a few different testing procedures that we commonly use. For the purpose of these videos, the panel we will be working on will be using a SCADA application to be able to remotely monitor and control an industrial plant environment. We hope you enjoy this series and can learn a few things along the way. As always, please feel free to offer any suggestions or comments on how we can better help assist you for your specific application. We hope you enjoy the build.